name is Bree Townsend. Um, I'm from Texas and I'm a freshman at Harvard. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm from Boston. I'm also a freshman at Harvard. And I'm Jonathan Sandoval and I'm a uh, graduate student at the University of Houston. So what we're uh, doing for this project is we're developing a device for people with autism and we know that it's an untapped market because no one, no one really understands the pain that these people have to go through. And so what we're doing is making clothes for them so that they can express themselves in a new futuristic in the 21st century way. So first I'd like to have one of my partners explain the, uh, the design of the project. So in terms of hardware, we have an Arduino, which is going to be like the controller for all of the different parts. So on our, the back of our shirt, we'll have an ultrasonic sensor, which uses echolocation to sense um, if someone's behind you and how close they are. Because people with autis autism and things like that don't really want to be crowded around. Um, so it'll warn the person by activating a buzzer, which is on the front of the shirt. And that will warn the person to step back and not be so close. There is also an RGB LED that'll light up according to a button that the person would press to indicate emotions. For instance, green is good, happy, red would be upset. Um, and that's just the way that they'll communicate their emotions through the shirt. And so the way that this is going to work using this hardware is we're using an uh, Arduino being coded in SIEM. And in order to determine the if somebody is approaching someone else's private space, you know, especially from behind, uh, the best way to do that is by using a, what we're using is the ultrasonic sensor and having it detect specific distances so that once somebody gets past a certain range, they're completely stopped, like they, the person will feel a vibration and they'll know that there's someone behind them so they're not completely shocked. And we're also attaching an LED light so that using this LED light, they can express, you know, whether they're happy, whether they're sad, or whether they're just into an intermediary state. And for that, we're, it's just going to be very simple, you know, LED programming. But our overall purpose with this project is to show that, you know, hackers can be ethical people and also help the world. Um, yeah, and so let's kind of talk about why specifically this project is very important. So there are a lot of individuals in the world who have communication issues or don't have the capability um, that we're used to to, com to communicate the way that they feel or whether or not they're comfortable in a situation, right? And so we want to make them feel um, as comfortable in their environment as we do um, as we do ourselves. So by granting them a piece of clothing that is extremely casual, that everyone wears and is very familiar with, um, we allow them to kind of like have that freedom and ability to communicate what they feel um, to others. Um, in the past, individuals who have had communication issues have used either like charts or something and they've pointed to certain emotions. And that's something that from a communication standpoint can seem very um, like awkward or confusing to like an average individual who hasn't um, interacted with another person like that. But what happens is with a common piece of clothing and some lights, um, this individual can feel more comfortable in expressing themselves um, as well as like understanding what's going on in their surroundings. And so this makes sure that like these um, people can actually interact with the world around them the most comfortable way and that'll be all catch you guys at the competition <laughs>